No, that's not a myth actually. Um, most commercial aircraft have a cabin altitude equivalent to about six to 8,000 feet, which is not enormous. Plenty of people live at that sort of altitude, but if you're used to living at sea level, then that altitude makes you mildly hypoxic, a little short of oxygen. That effect combined with alcohol has a, a much greater effect than just the alcohol alone. Oh yes, definitely. Uh, a lot of people choose to take sleeping tablets on board and if you combine those with alcohol, which you're advised not to do, occasionally the uh, effects can be quite dramatic. Well, alcohol is a dehydrating drug, so uh, if you are drinking on board, probably one glass of alcohol should be matched with a couple of glasses of water to avoid the dehydration. The environment's dry on the aeroplane anyway, so we tend to get uh, dehydrated just by flying on its own. And of course, avoid sleeping tablets uh, combined with alcohol. Well, of course, a lot of people are a little bit nervous about flying. It's not an environment that we were adapted naturally to, to be in. So that's not uncommon at all. But if you use alcohol to try and make that feeling go away, you're going to need a lot of alcohol to achieve it. And that will still have the same effects that a lot of alcohol will have any other place, except worse because it's combined with anxiety. Yes, meditating. Uh, there are fear of flying courses run by a number of airlines around the world, which have been shown to be very effective at helping people deal with that. And occasionally, on strict medical advice, it's, it's okay to take medication, but not combined with alcohol and um, under uh, strict control. And you need to try it out first before you fly. Yes, and of course a lot of the uh, anxiety about flying isn't necessarily just related to the flight itself. It's stressful preparing for a big journey and getting to the airport on time and through the airport and navigating all those, those challenges. And so it's not necessarily just about flying. Alcohol is an interesting drug. Um, if we just invented it today, we'd probably have trouble getting it registered, to be honest. But uh, it has a lot of effects, almost every organ in the body. Um, for example, the skin. Uh, there's some evidence that suggests that it uh, promotes early aging of the skin. Nobody's suggesting you avoid alcohol completely, but be mindful that there's a whole journey involved here and it's in an unusual environment so think about the context and drink in moderation. <laughs>